ladies and gents, it has happened. The end of an era. The end of the Tarkov as all of us used to know it and love it. Flea Barters are gone. They are no more. Today BG released a patch in which, well, they didn't technically release a patch because the whole change was server side. And uh, they call that new balancing changes. So what are we getting? Most of the items will be examined by default. That means whenever you open the game, whenever you start the game, even if you're level 1, if you've never played the game, there will be no items which will be covered with question mark, which you haven't seen in the game before. So right now if I go to fence, I can't find any items that I haven't learned yet. Even though um, I probably haven't, haven't, haven't touched those boxes in forever, there are no more items like this. I think this is a good change. Because me personally, it was so boring. Every single wipe, you would go to the traders, you would right click, click uh, inspect or whatever, or use your mouse wheel. You do this, 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 this. And then you have to wait. And then you go into the raid, you loot items, all of them are question mark. Your PMC is literally like, okay, bro, let's loot this item. What is this? I have no idea what this is. He looks at the item. Oh, it's a bottle of water. Jesus, who could have thought? Looks like a bottle of water, and it is a bottle of water, right? So strange that uh, he couldn't tell that the bottle of water is a bottle of water. Anyway, uh, you get my point. I'm really happy with this. No more my time, no more of your time will be wasted on learning those items. Um, the next change is remove the ability to place butter offers on the flea market. Active butter offers will be, able, uh, will be available until the offer expires. So if we go to the flea market at this very second, and search, let's say, I don't know what we can search for, keys, no, key cards, key cards is a good one, um, boom, there we go, one green key card, the guy wants red key card and a black key card for his green, Dover expires in 2.2 uh, hours, this is the reason why we shouldn't have butter offers, because of offers like this. And right now people are selling green for 100 mil, the price will go down. I'm gonna talk about the pricing in a second, because um, I want to I want to do a small prediction of what's gonna happen to the economy. You know what, let's check the let's check the Ledexes. See what's up with Ledexes. So people are selling them for like 800 plus K, and if we check the butter offers, they are still there. Alright, butter offers are still there, our big friend Twitch Landmark selling 76 of them. Uh, yes, sir. And soon TM those offers actually is gonna be gone in one day and 24 hours. So uh, you will be you'll be able to see this offer on the flea for the next for the next day. So yeah, this might be one of the last offers standing. I'm not sure if people can extend their offers. And if that's well, prob probably not the case. That's probably not the case. I don't think people can extend the offers. But if they can, those offers can stay on the flea forever, which is an interesting thing. Um. Anyway. Let's look through the other changes. The other change is, uh, there we go, offers that require weapons as barter will not be available for trade and will be returned to players after the offer timer expires. Okay. Adjusted base prices of some items, reduced offer fee on the flea market. So this adjusting base prices of some items is an interesting scenario. I wonder if they meant lapse key cards. I've got a couple and let's see if I can sell them to therapist for a much higher price than I used to. So, uh, ooh, Blake key card, 3.1 million. Violet, 3.7 million. Red, 10 million. Green, 10.7 million. So before this update, you were able to sell red to therapist for around 300,000 rubles. And right now you can sell it for yeah, yeah, 10 million. That's like what? 10, 30? 30 times uh, the price is 30 times higher than it used to be? That's a good thing. I wonder what happens with the keys. Like, what if, well, let's say, mm, I don't know if I've got a lot of rare keys, but let's talk about Sturman key, RBST, and maybe, maybe bedroom key. I wish I had a customs marked key to check, but anyway. 157, 59, 95. All right, so this key on the flea. This key yesterday used to be around 150k, by the way. Shared bedroom mark key. 
And an interesting thing is that key is... Oh, actually, I haven't filtered it correctly. 200k. Well, it, it did rise in price a bit. It used to be like 150, 160. It's, the, the price is a bit higher. Um, but that's fine. That's okay. That's not an issue. Alright, now the most interesting thing. What is going to happen to economy and the prices? My prediction. You might need to listen. You might not listen. I don't know if it's going to happen. But here we go. First of all, let's talk about Ladexes. Right now, people sell Ladex on the flea around 900,000 uh, to 800,000. That's the, that's the range. First of all, there will be no more barzers, therefore more people will sell Ladex for the uh, cash. That will drive the supply up and the price will go down. The second thing is there are more Ladexes spawning on their usual spawns. There are new spawns of Ladexes on customs, woods and uh, uh, sheets. Therefore, the supply goes up even more. I honestly think Ledix is gonna go down in price to 650, 700k in the next week, week and a half. So that's what we should be expecting um, from my prediction. And I know a lot of people want to buy lab kickers on the flea market and you weren't able to do so because of the butter offers. For example, green right now is being sold for 100 mil. I believe it's gonna go down to 50 mil. Uh, or like 35 mil in the next uh, two weeks. So wait for two weeks. Green is definitely going to be at least at least two or three times cheaper. Um, I'm not sure about red. I think red will stay around 50 mil. So if you see red for 50 mil and you've got 50 mil, feel free to buy it. Black key card. I honestly believe there is no need to buy it because you can get it from uh, from mechanic if you do the trade. Yes, it might be a bit difficult to do the trade and you might spam it on the flea a couple of times But this is like 1.5 million Roughly and it would be stupid to spend 25 million instead 1.5 if you want to get the black key card um, What about blue actually I wonder? Because blue is a very bad key card and it's very empty inside 60 million. Oh my lord. It is not worth this much. I wouldn't buy blue even for 10 million. To be honest, I wouldn't even pay more than 6 million for blue. If somebody listed for 7, I would not. Mm. Yeah, like if somebody listed for like 8 million, I would not buy it. And the other thing is yellow. I think yellow should be available for 10 million, roughly. There we go. 10 mil. Yep. Another thing is rare keys, such as Chikane 15. Right now, I couldn't find any of them on the flea. Um... No idea why, but they will be on the flea later on. I guess people will be selling them for 3 to 4 million rubles. And another thing is a Rival's Armband. They were available only for ridiculous butters. For example, this guy wants a Hulk knife. This guy wants Chikane 15. But if we scroll down, we will be able to find offers for cash. For example, those ones. 344,000 rubles. That's actually not bad at all. Um, so yeah, this is what's going to happen to the rare items. Well, not rare items. It's going to happen to the items which people were used to bartering away. Uh, we'll, be seeing, we'll be seeing them for cash. And more or less, I expect every single item to become cheaper in the game. Because it's going to be easier to buy them. And a quick reminder, if you're enjoying my content, make sure you click that subscribe button. Right now, 73% of you that are watching this video are not subscribed. And uh, click the button, make me happy. And once again, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you spending time with me and I'll see you in the next one.